love an honor. Oh, oh so yeah, I, you're getting me a pet horse. And I've always loved They're a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty crazy now. This is so cool. Whoa. What do you think, Polly? She's like, what's going on? Pretty cool, Hulu. Yep. The fun starts here. The Wild Wild West Adventures of Mom, Dad, Girl, and a Little White Dog. Episode 4. Custard, Needles, Donkeys, and about 1,400 bison. Day 5 of 75. Badlands, the Black Hills, and some fancy painted bison. Bye bye. Buffalo Gap National Press. Some free ice sweater sounds pretty good about right now. What do you think? Yeah. Let's head over to Wall Drug. Oh, Check out episode two for more on Wall Drug. Ice hits the spot. So we went from the Badlands to lots of grass everywhere to all of a sudden now there's hills and spruce trees everywhere. Fort, we like it. Huh? With your little puppy friend. Now we're all settled in here at Fort, we like it. How do you think? You like all the doggies around, don't you? Chicken on the grill. It might take a hundred years to cook. <laughs> Got Lou's working on a loom band. Trying out the new quad fish. Yeah, it looks pretty confusing from here. This is not what it's supposed to look like, so... I think you'll be able to do it. I think you're good. But anyway, we're doing what it says. Yeah, you do your best. We'll have to wait to see the finished product, right? Yeah. It's probably going to end up broken loom van. <laughs> it's the lumberjack. How's the quad fish coming along? Stressful. Stressful, it's hard to figure out. You need Brianna, don't you? Yeah, she'd be a lot more helpful. How is the chicken? Huh? Uh... How is the chicken? <gasps> Only so-so, it wasn't good. That evening, we decided to head to downtown Custer and check out all it has to Greetings offer. Greetings from Custer. The fun starts here. Downtown Custer was full of history, yeah. numerous photo opportunities, and these adorable painted bison all around town. There were also quite a few unique items for sale. Crazy Trump shirts. Yeah. And some cool rock shops. Alexis especially had fun naming all of the different bison statues. This is Quaid. This is Twilight. This is Chime. This is Raindew. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Here we 
we have our tailgating kitchen. Assistant Chef Polly to clean up any spills. <laughs> and some delicious breakfast sandwiches cooking. I'm using some of the cheese that we got from the Nordic Creamery on our way out. DeWard Family Farm fresh eggs. And actually, Meadow Lane Farm bacon too. D675 Burrows and Bison at Custer State Park. Gorgeous. So pretty. Oh, yeah, look at this. Though. Is this the needles? Maybe this must be. Pretty cool through here. Oh, yeah, because here's the Needles Eye Tunnel. So I guess we are doing the Needles Eye Tunnel. Oh, needles Highway, yeah. I guess, I don't know. I guess you take turns. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa. It's amazing. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, Lou. Yeah. This is so cool. That was pretty cool, huh, Lou? Yeah. Yep, so I guess we're doing the Needles Highway today. <laughs> Didn't even know it. I think I see the Blue Mountains. It does look like it, but this is these are the Black Hills. But they're really, I think they're pretty comparable in size to the Blue Ridge Mountains. They're taller, actually. Yeah, they're, that's right, they are taller. Do we really need another family photo? I'm hot. I just love documenting every stop along the Needles Highway. Well, you know what they say, happy wife, happy life. Say cheese, everybody. Cheese. cheese. Did somebody say treat? Let's go explore the Needles Highway. Whoa. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh man, look at this. That's the road down there. Whoa. <laughs> there must be, oh there's a hiking trail here. Hmm. I thought we were on the wildlife loop. <laughs> this is called the Cathedral Spires Trail. Yeah, I think we need to do some trolls. Some trolls here? Some trolls? We need to do some trolls around here. These black hills sure are really cool, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Not really, very unexpected. We ended up on the Needles Highway, didn't even mean to. <laughs> we were looking for the wildlife loop. Buffalo are dangerous. Do not approach. I think we might be getting close. Oh, look at this loop. No, this is the There's island. nobody after that. Look at this, Lil. Oh, oh it's pretty tight. Whoa, look how pretty that rock is. Whoa. What do you think, Polly? She's like, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> She's like, why are you so close to that rock? Those tunnels sure do wear me out. I'm a dog. Okay. So what the rest of South Dakota lacks in trees, Black Hills makes up for it. Now we finally found that wildlife loop road and a really cool visitor center here at Custer State Park. I absolutely love the gorgeous rock. It's like my dream cottage here. And inside they had an awesome fireplace. We also found the main visitor center here at Custer State Park where we watched a movie and learned a lot about the history of the area. So we just finished up at the visitor center over there and we saw a really cool movie, didn't we? All about Custer State Park. Now we're just hanging out here and having a little picnic lunch. And Alexis decided to cool off her toes in the water. Advantage of wearing waterproof shoes. I don't know if the grass is short because it's just newly coming up or the animals have eaten it down or that's just the kind of grass that it is. And now for the begging burrows. <laughs> Remember, you don't want to stand behind him, Alexis. I stand in front of him. Oh, I got this one. Oh, look how sweet. That one? Aww. Yeah. <laughs> He's dropping that one. <laughs> Celery? I swear. Hi. How are you? Is it okay for that, your baby? How's she went. You can pet her if you want. I know, this is so sweet. This is a good name. Oh my goodness, she's so sweet. Look at her. 
or are you not a fan of lettuce? It's okay, I'm not a fan of it either. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, you are precious. Oh, man. Oh, you can probably pet that one. I wonder. Like, right there. I know, it's fond of the vegetables, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, they like the cracker in there. They like the processed food better. Yeah, they don't like the cracker. Well, it's going to eat my pocket. I just wanted to take a moment to clarify that you should never feed wild animals. The South Dakota Tourism page encourages folks to visit Custer State Park and bring snacks to share with these begging burros. When I asked the rangers here if the feeding of these donkeys was allowed, they said they could neither confirm nor deny the legalities of feeding these adorable begging burros. Especially this one. I think she likes the smell of me. Oh, you're looking sweet. You should pet them. So oh, look at that one. That yeah, see, they like being pet on their things like that. What lettuce? lettuce? Oh, yeah, you like the lettuce. The lettuce seems to be a favorite of them all. This lettuce might be a little too low for them. This one's always like some though. This was the sweetest one. What did you name this one, Alexis? Daisy. Daisy. Did you have names for any of the other ones? Okay, so this is Daisy. This is Pearl. Brownie. And that grayish one over there is Phoebe. The other brown one I call Maple. Yeah. So they all have names now. The nameless donkeys are all named. <laughs> But this was a pretty cool experience, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I, you're getting me a pet horse. And I've always loved They're a donkey. A pet donkey. They're so sweet. What's this one's name? Daisy. They don't like radishes, though, so we're going to have to take those back with us. <laughs> we couldn't convince them of the radish. Oh, maybe you can convince them of a radish. Yeah, we couldn't convince them of a radish. You come over this way. Aww. You're loving on her. Oh, kind of like Evie the Mist Fairy, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that right, Evie? Am I too hot? <laughs> <laughs> you want some attention too? I know. <laughs> this one is like. Oh, look, they're cleaning each other. I'll help clean you. No, Alexis. Aww. They're helping each other. This sweet, this sweet little baby's getting her little nursery time in. And there's this little baby. Just say bye, donkeys. Bye, donkeys. Bye, Haley. Bye. What's that one's name? Haley. Aww. Say bye, Haley. Bye, Haley. I think they eat, yeah. I think they only nurse at this age. Oh, well, we might be able to. Was that like the coolest experience ever? Yeah. That was awesome. Watch out for the buffalo fighting. Did you know bison are the largest mammal in North America? Male bison called bulls can weigh up to one ton and stand six feet tall, while females, called cows, can weigh up to half a ton and reach to the height of four to five feet. Bison calves weigh 30 to 70 pounds at birth. Oh yeah, these must be the females then. Yeah, these are definitely the females. So maybe the females hang out together and the males hang out together. That one's that's <laughs>
This free roaming herd of bison has nearly 1,400 bison here at Custer State Park. It's one of the world's largest publicly owned bison herds. Fun fact, a baby bison is called a red dog, but why? Because bison calves, which are born from late March through May, are orange-red in color, earning the nickname red dogs. After just a few months, their hair starts to change to dark brown and their characteristic shoulder hump and horns begin to grow. So cute to see all the little red babies speckled in with their dark mamas. So that's actually a female because she doesn't have quite that large, like triangle-shaped head like the male does. Oh, if you got too close for a baby, she sure would. In fact, bison may be big, but they're also fast. They can run up to 35 miles per hour. Plus, they're extremely agile. Bison can spin around quickly, jump high fences, and are strong swimmers. That one has evergreen stuff on its horn. Mommy, look! It has evergreen stuff on its Evergreen stuff on its horn. Oh, poor baby. There's a lot of them up here, too. Making sounds. That one must be kind of an older baby. There's a baby right here. Stop it. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, there's a baby right there. It's a literal buffalo jam. Oh man, this is cool. I know, look at it. Polly, settle down. And Lulu found a good place to cool off her feet. How's it feel? Feels good. If it was any colder than this, it would probably feel cold, but actually it feels kind of nice. Pretty bridge over there. Everything just has all that beautiful rock here. I just love it. Giant fish in here. Are there? Yeah. It's long. How, how big are the fish? Like about like a foot long. Whoa. Probably yeah. trout. Probably are trout. Find any gold, Alexis? <laughs> See those Look, specks? Yeah, I was like, it looks awful shiny in there. After our awesome animal safari here at Custer State Park, we only have one thing on our mind, and that's ice cream. Finishing up at the Purple Pie Place. How was it? Pie was awesome. Ice, ice cream, cream awesome. Ice cream with ice cream. Yep. Yeah, I kind of felt the same about the ice cream. Oh, really good. <laughs> we had the blueberry. Pie. After snapping a few photos of my two little loveys, we head over to a local lake to enjoy the beautiful sunset. And notice how late the sunset is. Whoa! <laughs> Velociraptor. You can see I'm video all the time. Sparkles. Let's go explore Molding Needles Highway. Don't fall, baby Bob. Don't fall, baby Bob. Tunnel is the tunnel to the Needles Highway. Hey, person, you're gonna die up there. <laughs> and just in case you didn't get enough of these beautiful begging burrows from Custer State Park earlier, here's a little more donkey footage. If you couldn't tell, we really love donkeys. And those are the adventures of mom, dad, girl, and a little white dog at Custard State Park. <laughs>